Welcome to an extension of Be Real George. In case you're meeting me for the first time, hello and welcome to the channel. My name is George. I'm a content creator based in the People's Republic of China. And here is where you get to see me in really, really my elements. All right. So today we have a couple of things to discuss. And as you can see at the title or on the title of this video, Pastor Abel Damina has finally decided to talk nonsense or to preach nonsense. Now, oh yeah, some of you right now will be typing the comments. Ah, what is he about to say? Ah, what has this one done now? Ah, why is this guy always speaking on pastors? Ah, what does George have? What problem does George have with church? <laughs> what need relax? Some of you should be coming down. Eh? You should be coming down. We have a lot of things to discuss today. So, <laughs> before we get right into it, make sure you click on the like button if you like anything you get to see here. Be sure to subscribe in case you like. To see more of me again and um i'll be back after the intro now let's get straight to the main point pastor abel damina if you don't know this pastor number one either you're not a christian or number two you don't know what is happening in nigeria at all my dear wonderful people oh i know i have some Ghanaian brothers right here it is saying ah i think <laughs> bra, 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 brother 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 relax brother relax eh we are getting to the point right now so you get you get what you are saying now what you are saying now this man here pastor ebel dabina has decided to tell us how he has been preaching nonsense <laughs> now i want you people to hear me yourself because the way we see now you know christianity right now in nigeria in fact in africa itself most of you are in bondage i will tell you that to your face why because um this group of companies right now have been able to use the bible to put you in bondage using fear and guilt when some of you will never ever have a brain that is even even functioning okay so right now, I want you to listen to about Damina himself to see how he has been preaching nonsense, non fa, <laughs> and then uh, I'll come back with a couple of comments. They have been, uh, they have been like forced to call some um, maturely elder for, pastor for influence and connection. Yes, and, and therefore you have to sub subscribe and be paying tight and pay tight. It's a transaction. And if you don't do that, they cut off. It's a transactional relationship and it's on biblical. It's not biblical. Yeah, that's that's what I want. To I say. know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's in Nigeria big time. <laughs> you know, it's this mentality. I used to be there. I know everything. See, that's why they don't like me because I know everything they know and I know what they don't know. So they don't like me because I can expose all the things they are doing, but they cannot reveal what I know. That's the problem. Because in Nigeria, we have a forum where all fathers gather. And I'm a member. And that forum, you can't join until you are invited. There are just about 120 of us. The whole of Nigeria. I'm a member of that forum. And when I started preaching the message of Christ, I was invited by the fathers. Whoever you know is a father in the forefront in the Nigerian ministry. They are all there. And I'm among them. So when I started preaching this message, and it was going all over Nigeria, they became agitated. So they summoned me. They summoned me, they wrote me later, that I should come and explain this nonsense I'm preaching. And their intent were, was that they wanted to label me nationally a heretic. So I prayed and I prepared a 440 page defense of what I preach. The coordinator of the forum is very close to me. Okay, because he too preaches the grace message. If you know Bishop Mike Okonko. Okay, he's close to me. So Bishop Mike called me and said, Hey, Bella, are you preparing to face these guys? I said, don't worry, sir. It's, it's, it's not an issue at all. There are more serious issues than that. So they said, uh, so what are you going to do? I said, he said, how many hours will you need? I said, two, three hours will be fine. I said, I, then I said to him, I've prepared a 440-page paper. He said, no, Abel, they will sleep. It's too big. So I compressed it to an executive summary 
of about 40 pages. And then we came that night. Everybody was seated. And I stood up before all of them. I mean, whoever is who. From Pastor Adegoye down. They were all there. So I began with principles of Bible interpretation. Then I went into the concept of grace from Genesis. I traveled down to the epistles. When I finished, I said, this is what I go around the world preaching. Any questions? Any questions? So one of the fathers stood up. Dr. Damina, very elderly man, maybe 70. Supposing a man is committing fornication and is born again and the trumpet sounds, will he go to heaven? So all of them said, answer, answer, answer. They thought, they thought that was a serious question. So I stood up and I said to them, in Bible teaching, there are no yeses or noes. There is explanation. So let's go through scriptures. I began to throw the scriptures one by one and one by one and one. When I finished, I said, that's the position of scriptures. I rest my case. And the man said, no, I need a yes or no. So Bishop Mike stood up and said, you need a yes or no? Let me answer you. If a man is truly born again, has the Holy Spirit, and gets into fornication mistakenly, and the trumpet sounds. He's in heaven one time. But a man that is born again won't go around committing fornication. So after all of that, one of the main fathers stood up and said, that presentation, if I had the powers, I would have given you a PhD for just this presentation. Then he said, well, we adopt this into the minutes. Every one of you fathers, go and study it. Let the Holy Spirit open it up to you and you can teach it in your churches. There's nothing false in this message. Let's go for dinner. And they wrote the minutes. I have copies of it. Do you understand? Yes. So, the message of Christ is critical. And uh, it will attract all those kind of things. But you must be able to stand your grounds. And then in the Nigerian church, what young preachers do is if they see that you have influence, you have crowd, you have national acceptance, they now see you as a father. That's carnal. That's totally carnal. And that is why when you get to those fathers, they will now equate you by the weight of your tight. Your tight will determine your position in the relationship. Those who bring big, big tight are the ones that will sit close and will relate close. If your tight is small, you are at the bottom of the line. It's foolish. Real fatherhood is doctrine. Doctrine. Are we understanding? It's not popularity. It's doctrine. And some young ministers think when you come under a senior minister, you can climb his shoulders to fly. You don't need anybody's shoulders to fly. If you preach Christ well, Christ will open the world for you. Oh. <laughs> what were you expecting? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, yeah, some of you. Eh? You people are just too quick to judge. Just relax and use your brain and think. Eh? Sometimes you have to do this thing so that we get you to listen to the main facts. What he's saying is nothing but the truth. Because I believe his person that he cannot just come out and be making up these stories. You understand? So they have the, the, the all the CEOs, <laughs> group of companies, PFN, Abikan, all the GOs, <laughs> Doga, hey, 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 they will all come together and have meeting. And that's one thing, you see, I've, I've watched, later, later I'll discuss that um, on Being Real George channel because here we are, here I'm here. <laughs> that laugh, where well, I don't want to laugh for Being Real George, here I'm in my element, so I beg you. <laughs> I mean, see, eh? you see what he's saying, eh, God, the way the truth has been suppressed for Christians, Nigerians, politicians sit down and have this meeting. The last time I was seeing on Instagram that Dino Malayi has dumped, <laughs> hey, <laughs> has dumped, uh, uh, what is his name? 
Bukola Sarigi for Atiku. Remember, Reno Mokri has also endorsed Atiku. <laughs> God. And people are talking about will Atiku and Peter Obi run again. I don't know if they are going to run again together. But Atiku himself came out and said that he must. In fact, he doesn't lose the PDP ticket. And Wike wasn't happy about that because you know Wike is, uh, is a strong member of the PDP. Is Wike going to run? I don't know, but you can tell me what you think in the comments. So we are still hoping and looking forward to 2023. The last time we talked, talked about on Being Real George was uh, <laughs> our Tinubu himself shaking. Now the next thing now he seemed talking about the fact that he's a youth and saying that Nigerians are in coming 2023 he's going to i don't know look at what he's saying here on punch newspaper <laughs> god you see nigeria god we have to we must have sense so but moving further <laughs> hey god <laughs> Oh, 